Hey you all, um, welcome to this channel, Peace and Love. So today I wanted to um, bring about a video, um, more of a warning to those of you who, um, like we all do at, from time to time or like we have done in the past, is rely on um, what we consider professional help, you know, when we're not feeling well or get sick or need a physical checkup, things of that nature. So we run oftentimes to the hospital. But I'm telling you all as... Um, been going to hospitals before that they're up to there's some wicked business that has surfaced up that's been there all along but as we grow into the time of christ and the antichrist showing up before the appearance of our messiah jesus christ there is some wickedness that is going on and unfolding in the hospital today i bear witness of it it's only by the grace of god that i survived the attempted assassination on my life not only um, have it been an attempt to assassinate, assassination, but it was a attempt, an experiment. Um, the wicked trying to experiment on God's chosen ones. OK, so um, hopefully, as I was thinking about, it, I said, maybe I'm not the first one, but I know that it wasn't um, at all just out of nowhere. I believe this is something that's been plotted against God's people for some time now. Um, even most recently in 2020, when everything hit the fan with the pandemic and everything like that. So um, I say that to say that if you can avoid going and it's not with all medical um, personnel, but the hospital itself um, or hospitals of these institutions, um, majority of them have been under seem like a spell or hypnosis of to do evil, to do wicked to God's chosen people to go about the agenda of depopulation. But I pray for my brothers and sisters that are all over the four corners of the earth that we do not be ignorant to the to the wicked and their devices in this hour, that the Lord will open up our eyes to have spiritual discernment at this time. Because if it had not been for the Lord, I would not be here today, I'm telling you. And I will share my testimony in depth in another broadcast. But all I know is that when I went to the hospital, or area hospital, um, I'm not going to name the hospital at this time, that I realized after undergoing after going to see the doctor, the so-called doctor, they called themselves physicians assistants, that I left out worse than I did before. And not only that, I noticed some strange activity that was going on within my body. Okay. And let me just say this, that, that of course, AI have been on a rise as well. This is not a, a video to bring about fear in your hearts, but to bring about discernment awareness so that we may be vigilant, so that we may make cautious and more um, wiser choices when it comes to our health. Um, the Lord said he's given us everything that we need pertaining to life and godliness and family. If that means we have to grow our food, then we need to do that. If that means that we need to grow seeds and herbs and stuff forth, so forth, then we need to do that. If that means that we need to rely on aside from prayer and decreeing and declaring that we are healed by Jesus Christ. We need to go about doing as best we can and live healthier lives as well as try to go the natural way if possible. In other words, try to avoid these um, type of institutions um, because it's growing worse as the Antichrist. Um, is about to make his appearance um, as well. And it's already the work itself, the spirit itself is already working within these medical places as well. Um, out to hurt people, out to destroy people. Because we know the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy according to John 10.10. 10. But Jesus come that we may have life for life more abundantly. So take this video as a warning. Like I said, they're out to experiment slash depopulate God's chosen. Because we know that for men now, there are those that are going along this wicked agenda who wants to play guard and use an AI as well as their partners. Let me just say this, there's more to come, but do not believe everyone that's in these leadership positions either when it comes to their affiliation with certain countries, okay? Some of this stuff has been a bald-faced lie to keep the people, especially here in America, under um, dece in deception, okay? Um, having us think one thing when it's really another, all to complete their wicked agenda. But I rebuke and come against every spirit of, of the wicked one, every antichrist spirit, the evil doers as well. For, for evil should not prevail against the righteous in the mighty name of Jesus. And I do call on the Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Israel, and or Israel, to arise and let thine enemies be scattered. Okay, so stay out of these places. It's not everyone, but you don't know who it is. Okay, just because they're dressed in uniform, just because they're walking around clearly with this type of robe or coat on. And so forth does not mean they're they're out to make sure that you get the best care and the best treatment. OK, this has been a attempted assassination on not only my life, but I can imagine how many others that are not here to tell it, um, unfortunately. OK. And the big thing about it nowadays, what they're trying to say oftentimes is that that person or that person that's trying to report the truth 
has issues with him or her. That's just something to try to cover up what they're really trying to do and have been doing in secret. But it's starting to surface up and about. And so, again, thank you for tuning in. Try to go about things naturally as possible. Supernaturally, of course, with prayer and fasting in Jesus' name. And, and natural as possible. Okay, so I will talk with you all at a later time. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below. I'll take a look at them when I can. Peace and love.